What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new AEW action figure news, which comes in light or just off the cusp of the Ringside Exclusive Blood and Guts 2-pack AEW figure set that we saw with a dog color match between MJF and CM Punk the other day. We finally have a look at an upcoming set that we have been waiting on actually for a very long time actually. Like it was a long time ago. Like at the time of this little video that's playing in the background, uh, whatever, you know, whatever fan takeover or whatever fan fest, I guess it's all out fan fest or some other fan fest that this footage that you're seeing, this B-roll that you're seeing is from, is the first time we saw these figures that we're going to be talking about today and i'm talking about aew unrivaled series 12 finally has proto images or new loose images from ringside collectibles which means these figures are probably going to be in our hands very soon but th these are a long time coming man and i got a lot to say about these i want to know where your head's at let's let's just dive the hell in man we have aew unrivaled series number 12 let's start off with John Moxley. Yes, John Moxley, of course, no stranger to the AEW Unrivaled line. Definitely up there in terms of total action figures when you include chases and all those different things. But today, he is coming at us with the black Mox shirt. He's got a new head sculpt. He is in new black joggers, or I guess not new. They're just, you know, newly painted joggers or cargo pants. They have patches on them. They give me real Braun Strowman from 2016, 2017 vibes on there. They got a green belt on there, which is a nice detail. Like, I think detail-wise, like they get he's got his tattoos in there he's got some painted on pants or like some details on his pants he's got a mock shirt one big thing about this figure is going to be the t-shirt is the t-shirt going to stain the figure that's going to be the biggest thing coming in but i don't know i don't despise this head sculpt entirely but it's definitely not my favorite there's just so many things to unpack here because i mean we're dealing with another mox repaint which you know you got to keep mox on the shelves you got to keep your kenny omegas you got to keep your big names or your bigger names on the shelves which i understand but we have seen this uh, this before it's almost like the lower abs of this looks almost new kind of but it's probably just the lighting and the way it's angled but I don't know it's not a horrific figure it's just not going to need to move the needle that much especially if it stains if this figure stains then it's just like throw, throw it the hell in the garbage you know what I mean so I don't know man Mox's formula is a formula that gets super loose after a couple poses, and I don't know, man. I love Mox, I love his figures, but we need something that's more stable after posing, and that can that can last a little bit longer in terms of quality, so we'll see. That remains to be seen, but not my favorite Mox figure of all time, but I guess not a bad entry, but my god. We're gonna get into the chase figures in a second, and I got, I got a lot to say about those as well. Moving on next, guys, we have Jamie Hayter, which is a figure that has a lot of cool details in it. I actually like, you know, some of the stuff we got going on here. I like her boots. I think the head sculpt is okay. I think it's solid. I think it gets the job done. You know, it's kind of a blank expression, but she's got some cool details going on. Her top, you know, looks nice with all the different colors and things of that nature. She's got her tattoo on there. AEW women's figures are pretty solid for the most part. I'd say. I just think they're a bit oversized. She's got interchangeable hands, nothing else, so she doesn't get a shirt or anything like that, which again, she is also the chase in the set, so the two chases in the set are going to be the Mox and then the Jamie Hayter figure, but oh man, this figure is pretty decent, but we'll get into the chase in just a moment, but the Jamie Hayter, I think this is one that a lot of people are waiting on. A lot of people have been wanting this in their collection, so I think Series 12 getting Jamie Hayter in here finally is one that people are going to appreciate, and then we finally have Private Party, Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy, I feel like we've been waiting on these guys forever. Really cool. These are the two standouts in the set. I love their shirts. They're both cloth and they're in white. I don't think we're going to have any staining. You got Life of the Party shirt. I like their head sculpts. I like the way these figures look. They look like they're going to pose around pretty good. I think they even have lower leg cut. I wish Mattel would do that. So you got the white pants, and then you have the black pants. I think it'd be cool to get two of each. So you'd have Isaiah Cassidy and then Mark Quinn, and then you could torso swap them, and then you could have Isaiah Cassidy and Mark Quinn. You could have Private Party in white attire, and then Private Party in black attire. But I like both of these figures a lot. I like their head sculpts. I like the tattoos. The shirts are cool. I hope they feel good in hand. They look like they're probably going to pose around pretty good. I like the torso choices here, at least in shirt. You know, I can't, you know, see anything wrong with that right now. But these are most definitely my two favorites in the set. I think that goes without saying. I don't think it's even close really when you get into my favorite parts of the set it's going to be private party i've been waiting on these guys forever we've been waiting on these guys in action figure form and we finally get some new blood in the line with jamie Hayter and then those guys so that'll be really nice to have and see but we do have private party finally making our way I like dude I, I, they've been in the they've been there since the beginning right they've been there since the beginning of aew and we have not gotten their figures so we're finally getting an unrivaled 12 but i think aew really deals with a lot of issues where they have so many guys that a lot of people don't know 
in the grand scheme. So it's probably really hard to get a lot of guys in their line for their shelves for retail space. So I totally understand it. But yeah, like I like you know what I'm saying? That's why you see so many Anna J's. You see so many Rehos. You see those things happening. Lance Archers of the world. You see those things happening at retail where there are so many. I mean, they probably overproduce the figures anyway, but that's just uh, that's just a small little side note there. But Private Party definitely looks great. I actually am really intrigued with these figures. I think these stand out in the set. And then we get into another tag team, Brad, and that is going to be FTR. And these figures right here, man, another complete miss for FTR. I mean, bro, these figures right here are pretty much identical to their Series 7 figures, man. They are pretty much identical. You're getting these yelling head sculpts. They're head sculpts that are not yelling or the exact same. They're just painted differently. And not only are the head sculpts the same, man, but these are gonna be, I know, like, it's a moment in time, right? But these figures are a long time coming. I mean, these, this is their blood and guts pinnacle gear. So we're finally gonna have the full faction. MJF, Wardlow, Sean Spears, FTR, and, and then we have our inner circle. So we have all our guys in white. We have our full prison jumpsuit gang. So now we finally can complete it, but when you compare these to their first go-around, man, they're both, they're, they're in white gear again. They have the same head sculpts. Everything is virtually the exact same, and these figures have shelf warmed horribly. And you're gonna tell me these figures right here aren't gonna shelf warm again. Like, I get, like, they obviously were trying to get that full pinnacle set out and that inner circle set out, but I think that between the factories and the, the different things that took place to get these figures to fruition and all the, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that Jazzwares had to do, now that we're finally getting it, I don't know, man, these are gonna probably be a really tough sell. I don't know who's gonna be lining up to track these down, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess it's gonna help them that a lot of people already have the Wardlow, the MJF, the Sean Spears, and they really wanna complete that pinnacle set, even though it's do it doesn't really matter at this juncture. To kind of fill that hole in the collection, you may be dealing with some people that really want those figures. But outside of that, I do not know who's going to be lining out the door for these. I do not know who that's going to be. I mean, you got the hardcore guys. You got me that's going to be a DA that gets in line. You know what I mean? I'm going to be up there. But I feel like I'm probably one of the exceptions to the rule. I'm the guy that's probably going to be camped out there anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be there. So, I don't know, man. I just think these are going to be a really, really tough sell. The Dax figure is just not good. I feel like the yelling head sculpt doesn't look like him. I never thought that that straight face figure looked like him. That elbow sleeve like image where his wrist is bent in does not do the figure any favors whatsoever. I just think these are going to be a really, really tough sell, man. And it makes me sad because I, I really love FTR. I think they're fantastic. They're one of the best tag teams in the world. But when you're dealing with these figures, man, I think they're best figures they've ever had are the NXT elites, but you guys know that Mattel's on their, they, they, they're tripping on their, on their body selections, I mean, I definitely like the size that they give these guys in terms of, like, guys with this body mold, like Brian Danielson, Edge, FTR, MJF, guys like that, if MJF was in WWE and with Mattel, they'd have given him a Daniel Bryan torso, they absolutely would have given him a Daniel Bryan torso, they always gave Aleister Black that same torso, they give The Miz that torso, anybody that's like that non rip to shreds or not jacked at all they always give him the Daniel Bryan torso and it's just not accurate to most guys I don't know why they don't give him the Usos torso or the Matt Hardy torso I don't know why they never have done that I know this isn't a this isn't a Mattel video it's just something that I think about all the time and I think that torso can work for specific people sometimes but for the most part that Daniel Bryan torso doesn't work for anybody and I think it works better if they were to use like an Uso torso or something like that but that's just a small tangent I say all that to say that their NXT elites were the best versions of them, but they were just way too tiny. And then they would give them those tiny baby legs like they're freaking 13 years old. But that's just a whole nother thing. So I do like that they make the, those guys bigger in AEW figure form, but these figures aren't it. They look just like their Series 7s. And this is five series later. So I, oh man, I don't know, bro. These are going to be a really tough sell. I could see these just, unless they cut down production or they cut down stock on these and how many they produce for retail shelves, I could, you're going to be seeing these till 2026. Nonetheless, we're moving into our chase figures in the set and these chase figures, man. These chase figures. Let's start things off with the Jamie Hayter. Pulling up the Jamie Hayter, the rare edition, the one of 3,000, I can tell you right now, this chase figure is not going to be worth a hill of beans on the aftermarket. I imagine it's probably going to be in the 40 to $50 range. It's definitely not going to be one of those that's super sought after. We're not looking at an unrivaled one Cody, obviously. That goes without saying, but even some of those other chase figures, man, this is not going to be one of those that people are trying to search for. It is the exact same gear with a rubber jacket. It is the exact same gear with a rubber fur jacket, and that is it. Yeah, not 
Not going to be doing much, Brad. Not going to be doing much. I mean, at least it's not a club. If they would have been, what if they'd have done this as the chase? I saw people like complaining, saying, oh, they give the jacket to the chase. Like, Brad, who wants this jacket? Do you want this jacket? I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt anything, but nobody wants the rubber accessories. Or at least uh, I don't. But imagine if this thing was like cloth fur jacket. People would have lost their ever-loving mind. But then if you take the jacket away, like, what if the jacket wasn't there and it was on the regular version and the chase was the Jamie Hayter figure with no jacket with the same gear? Nobody would want it. Nobody's wanting it. So, the enticement of this chase figure is legitimately the sticker and the rubber jacket. That'll make a tear come out of your eye, Brad. Let's move on to the Chase Mox figure, which is going to be another one of 5,000 Mox. This man has so many damn figures, which I'm all here for. I like it. I think they look really bad A up next to each other on a shelf, but I don't know who's going to be lining up for this one as well. It's the exact same figure, just like the Jamie Hayter in this set, except it has the Mox leather jacket that is not going to allow any posing whatsoever. So this is another Mox chase here that, uh, or I don't know about another Mox chase that's skippable, because I, I, I don't know, I feel like the rest of his chases are pretty decent, but this one is a miss. This one's definitely a miss. I do not like this. The Mox jacket, I mean, unless you're like a massive Mox fan and you want like the moment in time when he wore the jacket out of commemoration and stuff like that, yeah, that's cool, but as far as a chase figure, I mean, this is a men on card one. You get this, you keep it men on card. I don't think anybody really wants to pack it, unpackage this one. These are just two chases that are complete misses. And this full weight is pretty mid. I love Private Party. And I think, I mean, you get three first time in the lines, which is great. <sighs> but I think, I, I don't know. I just feel like when you, if you're going to do Mox again, if you're going to do FTR again, you really got to bring it. You know what I mean? You got to come in. You got to punch them in the mouth and say, you need these. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just feel like overall this set is pretty meh. And I guess, I don't know. Like, I know we're ranking WWE Elite Series 1 through 100 from worst to best. Which I may need you guys to also let me know. Would you guys want to see that, like, release in... In parts I might do like 100 through 90 90 through 80 and so on just so you guys can kind of get a peek into what that's gonna look like and it won't look like the light at the end of the tunnel is so very far away but I guess when we get high enough in AEW unrivaled lines I guess we can rank AEW unrivaled lines from worst to best I mean I don't know about a hundred set nonetheless before we get out of here we do have to give a huge shout out to my man Chris Pena for becoming our newest patron yesterday huge shout out to him thank you so much Chris for signing up to the patreon if you guys are interested in checking out the patreon or you want to become a patron, definitely check it out. Link's in the description below. Always appreciate our patrons over there. I want to know what you guys think about these figures. Do you think the set's mid overall? Do you think they're, you know what I'm saying? I want to know. I want to know all the different things, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Pro Wrestling T slash MyDamnToys. Link in the description below. Go cop some merch. I greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on all these figures down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. And I'll see you next time. Whoa.